tea con macchiato yeah. with ice, um, ice please. Okay. Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, oh, today is Saturday, October 10th. As you can see, we're in my car. Uh, I got her back yesterday. She does have some still more uh, issues going on with her. So I'll take her back on Monday, but I'm glad just to be in the car and she's drivable. So that's a, a good sign. So today was a long morning. We actually went out into downtown Fort Worth and one of the companies that we invested in is actually one of my boss's wife's companies. And her name is Carrie Noel. And her bags, she sells a full grain luxury bags. They're so great and top quality leather. I even have a bag myself. Please go check out her website. They're so gorgeous, gorgeous bags and they're very good luxury bags. So today we shot a lot of lifestyle shots with Danielle, my, uh, my twin sister, uh, three of her teammates. And I'm so thankful for them to come out at eight o'clock in the morning in, you know, great, fall weather apparel and makeup and smile for a camera and I'm very thankful for them. So I'm gonna go home after this, help my mom organize her closet. My mom is home this weekend because like I said before in the last video, they are putting uh, the lake house on Airbnb or uh, VRBO. So we're gonna get that prepared and set up and her all her clothes downsized because she has a lot of clothes. So we're getting rid of a lot of her clothes and um, she's gonna take all those uh, back to with her to Austin and clean out the master. So that's the plan for today. And then maybe later this evening, we're gonna have a birthday dinner. Cause as you know, I'm leaving for Austria on around near my birthday. So I'm very excited about that, you know what I mean? So I get to see my boo. So that's what we're doing today, probably later tonight is going out to a nice dinner, hanging out, nothing too crazy and exciting. But um, yeah, I'm very excited just to relax and enjoy this weekend. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Okay, so I'm home now. I'll show you my baby. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. And then bam! And I just got home and literally the Starbucks is like nine and five, 10 minutes away. And I'm already like halfway in my drink. Oh my God, I drink it. I drink coffee like water. I'm trying not to listen. I'm distant, I'm distant. The next day, I have started to pack my bag for Austria, and I'm on the phone with my boo. Can't wait for y'all to meet him. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start packing and get this all going. All right, so he told me it's gonna be like 10 degrees high, seven degrees low, which is about 50 degrees and then 40. In Texas right now, it's like 80. Yeah. So, your girl is packing a lot of sweats, tights for hiking, a lot of jackets, all long sleeves, even a jacket like this. Very thick and warm. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. It's actually gonna be fall weather in Austria. So, that's gonna be fun.
This one's not. This one's oh. not the one that goes all the way down uh, to your brain. Oh, which one's this one? It's it's ran the same way. It's just this one. Go, the swabs are different, and it goes to the tips of the nostrils. Hang on to that. Okay. One. It goes just in the tips of the nostrils. Okay. So it's more of a tickle, might make you sneeze kind of thing, than it is hurt. Oh. So I just left the clinic. I got my COVID test done for my travel to my trip because I, before I leave, I need actually a 72 hour COVID test. Sorry, I'm driving because I need to get to work. Um, so yeah, so I got that done. Um, the lady told me that um, it's not as bad as the nostril all the way up my to my brain, but it was still kind of bad, especially on the second nostril. I was like, oh girl, it's still the same. <laughs> But um, yeah, I got that done. So that's a big check off my list for today. Um, I do have shooting I gotta do today and all that good stuff. And I hope y'all enjoy this weekly vlog. Later. All right, sorry, I just got a shower and I put my like blemish cream on cause your girl picks a lot. And now I'm shooting from my Canon G7X because it's been dead and I've been too lazy to like put the battery in the camera and carry it around. So this week's vlog has been so far shot with my iPhone. But uh, like I said, I mentioned this morning, I did get my COVID test because I needed a test 72 hours prior to my departure to Austria. So I'm hoping to get that in the next couple days, hopefully before my flight. And then, la uh, then later in the day, I went to the office, did some work, then I went to Frisco, which is kind of the north, north of Dallas and we shot some things for another company and it was really good. And then after that, uh, I went back to the office, did some work and some other errands. I got all that clothes that my mom took out of her closet into Play-Doh's Closet, which is a resale shop. Uh, really good, they give you prices for clothing that are still in style. And then I went from there, whatever they didn't like, I took to Uptown and see what else I can get for my mom's clothing. And then I donated the rest through Uptown Cheapskate. Uptown Cheapskate, uh, Uptown Cheapskate, Uptown Cheapskate, have you, like, up, Uptown, the Uptown, Uptown Cheapskate, Steak? Uptown. Uptown Cheapskate, like you see in my other vlogs, is also another good option to take um, clothing or actually all also goods that like, for example, like the scrunchie for instance. If you had really good, like um, good, almost like used but brand new products like hair ties, even like, like those, uh, not picture frames, but those like wooden like quotes that say like, go get it girl or something like that on it. And so it's not just clothing they actually donate the rest that you don't want. So for example, you can have four bags like me today. I had four bags I took to Play-Doh's closet. They picked out what they wanted and they gave me cash for it. Then I took those four bags and gave them to uh, Uptown Cheapskate. They pulled items that they, they that they wanted to have in their store and gave me m money for it. But then they took the clothes that they didn't want and gave me an option to donate it, which I did. So if anything, if you just wanna have a quick little see if you can get money from your clothes, Uptown Cheapskate is a great way to go because I recommend doing that because they donate your, your clothes afterwards. Or you can just go take it to Goodwill or another local business that helps um, the homeless. So I did that this afternoon and now I'm back home. My brother was here so I talked with him a little bit because I don't think I'll see him the rest of the week because he's really in school and he's doing really well in school. And then what else? I did pack a little bit for Austria. So I'm trying to make it as small as possible because I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. And then tomorrow, it's going to be an interesting because tomorrow I get a waxing done for the first time. Because, you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get my first, uh, you know, Brazilian wax done tomorrow. So I don't know if I want to film that or not, but I'll let you know. Um, the do's and don'ts and to expect for your first time. Yay. So I'm on my way now to 
my Brazilian waxing appointment, my first one. Pretty little bit nervous, but I did take some um, Advil before because I've heard from YouTube videos I've watched and also uh, my coworker um, told me that, you know, it's best thing to do is do that and it won't be as painful, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe record my experience. I don't know if I will or not, because um, I know for me, I don't have a high pain tolerance. So it shall be interesting. Okay. As much as you can be, going patches. Okay. I'll be patient with you, okay. telling you. Okay. It hurts. Oh, uh, yeah. Telling you. Oh my God. Yeah, adjust the outer hand. Uh, see how they come? Yeah, I see. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it hurts. Mm. I'm telling you, yeah. I wouldn't lie. No, you would not. I wouldn't lie. It <laughs> does, but it's it's 30 minutes torture. Mm -hmm. It's good for a month. <laughs> Trust me. All right. Alright, I'm back home now. I did take a shower, wash my hair because I just want to make sure I get all this knocked out before I leave. So, wash, wash the hair, which I, I like to air dry it, and then I flat iron my hair. So, right now it's in the, it's in the drying phase, and, um, and then it's going to go into maybe an hour, hour and a half of me, goodness gracious, hour, uh, hour, hour and a half of me flat ironing it. Um, the waxing was extremely painful uh it's a really highly recommend you taking something before and i did and i'm glad i did because it took every ounce of me not to scream or like cuss so i was saying fudge or like oh sugar honey iced tea but i was really clenching a lot and she was like oh wow like you're doing really well i'm like uh-huh and i was wearing a mask as you all saw in the video i was wearing a mask and behind that mask was just a lot of just like just so totally so many different expressions but i am so glad it's done it is like i'm telling you right now she's kind of like red and very you know sensitive i guess you can say and it's crazy like there's n you know nothing there and i'm really excited for the next like tomorrow or next couple of days how it feels and i know what i've heard from uh, my coworker and from other people and, and the lady who did the waxing that it feels really great and it's just like so much better than just trying to shave every day and etc but i'm glad i got that experience out of the way and done so yeah so now i am kind of trying to get everything together this is the kind of the night before i leave kind of in a way so i'm going tomorrow morning or tomorrow not tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon after i get off work i'll probably leave maybe an hour or so early i try i'm trying to leave around 2 30 so i don't drive at night but i am going to drive tomorrow to my aunt's house stay the night and then uh, fly out friday morning and behind me is my packed bag all that good stuff and then Bella Bella's over there she's actually gonna be staying with my aunt Mona and my aunt Mona is extremely excited about that so yeah but I'm packing all this stuff and hopefully um, everything goes smoothly in terms of me going through all the process me and uh, my, my boo Lucas we actually did get all the required documents one thing that um, right now for traveling, especially with you know COVID going around and just a lot of things is happening all at once, um, the EU has opened borders. Like I think I've mentioned, I'm not sure if I have, but the EU has opened those borders. Some countries have in the EU that um, they did this movement called Love Is Not Tourism. So it really opened up the borders for couples, especially international couples and the couples who are, uh, who are in America wanting to see their other partner in the EU. So this is why I'm able to go, hopefully. So what it is, is that you have to have a proof of like a relationship. So what we did is we printed out our text messages from when we started and started talking and then to recent. Not all of them, because there is like I don't know 500 plus pages because we, we've been talking since last December so I just did the first 10 and then like first 10 pages and the last five pages 
And then you need documents that you know, proof of residency, which I have for him, um, and like with passport and all, all this, etc. Just proof that you are going to see an actual like citizen of a, that country you're going to. So Lucas is an Austrian citizen, so he um, sent me all the required documents to show, uh, I guess, uh, what do you call it. Uh, when I, when I go through customs or anything like that, I can show them if they ask me the questions and all that, I have uh, all the documents I need. And also, um, one of the things about traveling, you have to do, which is now because of COVID, you have to have a 72 hour um, COVID, uh, COVID test result that is negative. So negative COVID test result that is 72 hours pretty much prior to your departure. So I do have one which I got actually this morning and then I got another one because I did I did another COVID test yesterday at 6 p.m. and it was a free clinic and I, cause I was wanting to make sure that I got the COVID test and then you know a negative one hope in, in all that. And I did get my negative COVID test back or test back this morning and then I also got my other one which I took uh, yesterday evening um, when I got home so that was really cool I got the text and everything and, and I'm gonna print that out um, when I can so I have two two test results that I can show just in case and all that so when I do land in Austria I won't ha I won't be required to do a 14-day quarantine just by showing that I, I had a negative COVID test 72 hours prior of my departure so but it, and the thing is it says on the website that you can go through it and you don't have to have a negative COVID test. But the only thing is, is that if you once you do land and you don't do a COVID test, you are required to do a 14-day quarantine. So if you're traveling or whatever, I rec would recommend doing it. But yeah, so we got all those documents done today. So that is done and I'm praying it's going to be easy and breezy. Uh, I'm going to make sure I bring my passport and everything I need. I just remind, I just like saw it and just remember to bring that. I, yeah, I need that. So now I'm just going to finish up packing and get everything together. safe drive to um, Houston sorry I did an all-nighter in a way and then I took like little naps in between that's why I look like death um, my aunt Mona and uncle Taylor really helped me on packing actually a bigger bag so now I'm in their suitcase kind of the same color as that one over there so I did a bigger bag because um, I want to bring back souvenirs and I want to have the option to do that and not have enough space. And it gives me more, I guess, of a peace of mind because all the things I am bringing to Lucas and, uh, and his family, I know they'll be fine and not like com compacted too much or, or that small or a smaller suitcase would like open or uh, bust. So um, that's what we did last night. Um, it was really cool because when I got in, um, we had some um, Asian food, we were eating, and right when we were done eating, um, my cousin Landon came in, and then my Uncle Mark and Aunt Rose came in and surprised me, um, and that was very fun. And we sat outside, hanged out, and just really relaxed, and it was really great, great end of, the, of, our, of my birthday. Um, I really wish I could spend it with my sister, but this year is just... You know it's different and um i just know there's gonna be a lot more birthdays where i'm not with her and we're gonna be starting doing our own things but um going back to today today is the day and i am so so excited i'm just dead because i'm just trying to get onto uh, austrian time so when they're up i'm gonna try to be up and then when they're asleep i'm gonna try to be asleep that's what i did when i traveled to japan and it was really, it really helped me adjust really quickly to the time zone. And it took me not even like, not even two days to adjust to the time zone in Japan. So that's what I'm trying to do is, so when I get there, I'm awake. It's 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm fully awake and not too, too tired. So yeah, I'm going to finish packing. I'm going to wear this and something simple, something easy. And, um, and for me to be 
uh, warm because right now it's actually pretty cool outside, especially for Houston. And um, so, and it's gonna be colder when I land in Austria.